Welcome to Permit Me, the show about permits and possibilities. Hello, I'm Dennis Brown Bouvier. I'm one of the team of professionals here at City Hall who are here to assist you in getting permits. I'm here to explain how and why various permits are issued and obtained at the City of Walnut Creek. Our team consists of three divisions, building, planning, and engineering, who are all working together and reviewing your project. We're located here on the second floor of City Hall and we're here to help make your building project a success. Hi, I'm Adelia Gimlasse, one of a team of planners here at the City of Walnut Creek. As a resident, you may have wondered what it takes to build an addition on your home, install a new fence, or run a home-based business. The planning division is where you can get answers to all these questions and more. Most additions are allowed in residentially zoned districts provided they meet basic zoning standards such as setbacks, lot coverage, building height, and parking standards. Certain larger additions may require a public review process. Also, sheds, whether large or small, follow similar regulations as building additions. Our staff is happy to let you know which regulations apply to your home. Are you planning on building a new fence or perhaps replacing your old fence? In most residential zoning districts, front yard fences are allowed a maximum height of three feet. Fences elsewhere on your property are allowed to be a height of six feet tall but special rules may apply if your house is located on a corner lot. It is possible to build a taller fence than this, but it requires a special permit and a public hearing. Also, keep in mind that the height of a fence includes a lattice top. Some factors to consider when asking for increased fence height include character of neighborhood, fence design and materials, and landscaping. Are you interested in running a business from your home? Home-based businesses are allowed in all residential zones, but they must follow special regulations to make sure that the character of the neighborhood is preserved. In short, no one from the outside should be able to tell you have a home occupation inside. Contact the planning division to confirm whether you're on the right track or if you have any other questions. As always, we're here to help and assist with any questions you may have. Stop by the second floor of City Hall and ask to speak with the planner. Hi, I'm Carlton Thompson and I'm an associate engineer with the City of Walnut Creek. The engineering division is responsible for plan review, mapping, and inspection of all site development projects that occur within the City of Walnut Creek. The engineering division reviews and approves all subdivision maps, issues site development permits for grading, drainage, retaining walls, and other improvements on private property. We also issue encroachment permits for all work in the public right-of-way and any construction requiring traffic and pedestrian control. Our current project engineers assist both planning and building staff by reviewing many of the project submittals for conformance with site engineering, utility, stormwater, and arborist requirements. The engineering division is here to make sure your project gets built safely. The building division issues permits for new construction, repairs, alterations, additions for both commercial and residential projects. We also issue miscellaneous permits for projects that do not include building code components, including electrical, mechanical, plumbing, heating and air conditioning, re-roof, and solar. Our primary concern is public safety. And with that goal in mind, we review your plans to make sure they meet all of the relevant codes and safety requirements. Hi, my name is Mike Weens. I'm a building inspector for the City of Walnut Creek. I'm at a job site right now. Um, the inspectors work with contractors and homeowners to make sure their project meets all state and local codes to ensure public safety. There are many important reasons to obtain building permits. It helps to protect property values. Your home or business is an investment. If your project does not comply with the codes adopted by your community, your investment may be greatly reduced. It saves money. Property insurers may not cover losses and damages caused by work done without permits and inspections. It makes selling property easier. When a property is sold, the owner is required to make disclosures. If you decide to sell a building that has had work without permit, you may be required to remove the modification, leave it unoccupied, or do costly repairs. It improves safety. Obtaining your permit helps reduce the potential hazards of unsafe construction. By following code guidelines, you're helping to keep your project safe. The professionals in the Community Development Department are here to make sure your process is as smooth and as easy as possible. We'll gladly provide you with the information you need in order to complete your project. 
please visit us at the second floor of City Hall. We're here to help you get your project done right.